And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will go over some Danish tips, um, uh, which should help you narrow down Denmark. Denmark is a small country, but there are actually tips in within the country that can help you narrow down where you are. So, uh, I will be covering uh, a few of them today and a few of them in a future video. So, um, yeah. Really close to 400 subs, only 18 away, so if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy the videos, hey, why not subscribe? It's free. Uh, it's final restart go before the end of the year, so if you want to help me out with that, um, that would be nice. And yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, jump straight into it. But before we do that, uh, I will not have a face cam on with the whole video because otherwise it would cover up the, the PowerPoint presentation that I'm gonna do. I uh, also have the Denmark flag up here, a uh, nice, nice uh, new addition to the background. So that's that's just a white wall and some gases here, and uh, yeah, that's about it. And now we can go into the me doing the explaining. Yeah. So here we are. We have gonna. I'm gonna be talking about some Danish bullets and the the uh, buses. Uh, so yeah, let's go right into. It. So first we have the red reflector, which is the top part here. Then we have the yellow reflector, and then we have some some stuff down here but what does that mean uh, i'll get into that so uh, the arrow uh, i'm pointing with my finger and not with my mouse where is my mouse i cannot find my mouse there it is aha found it <laughs> uh, so if the arrow uh, points down uh, dri you're driving uh, that means you're driving t t towards the road starting point so uh, yeah a and if you're driving a and if the arrow points up you you are driving away from the starting point, really useful information, right? Um, yeah, the arrow shows what direction you're driving in relation to the starting point of the road, basically. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so, this is the helpful thing. Now, what to, to find out which road you're driving towards the, the start or away from the start is by this. Uh, this is the M20 on, on this example I have here, and it is uh, called an enemies, enemies Administration number. The administration. Uh, oh my god. Uh, administration number uh, linked to a highway in Denmark. So, yeah. So with that number, you can basically know which road you are on. So, for example, like the M20 is the E45, I think. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the number above shows uh, kilometers, and the number uh, underneath uh, shows uh, meters from the start point of the road. So 45 would be the kilometers, and the uh, two would be a meter. So 45.2 kilometers, basically. Uh, right. So if something happened, and and you gave all the information on the bullet, they would know exactly where you are. So like, it, 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 let's say you crashed or something, right? But that actually means that. Yes, if you saw this and you learned it, you would be able to 5k a road in Denmark. Now, isn't that helpful for Denmark to 5k a road, right? We love 5k. Uh, sadly, I have not been able to find a location where these numbers are actually visible. That's why I wanted to talk about it, but uh, sorry, I don't think it's gonna help. Um, if you find this helpful, let me know down in the comments, because uh, I don't know if this is actually gonna work. It, it should work. You should be able to pinpoint somewhat where you are it also comes down to like you know it says 45 kilometers you need to kilometer guess um so yeah anyhow uh this are the things we have here so as i said m20 we see the m20 here which is the e20 uh, makes sense and it's from Kosur to Kui, and that's the, the that's the route and then we have the name which is where was it uh west most vine West motorway, uh, uh, right? So, basically, if you see a, a, a different number besides M20, you will you you can see where where you will be. So, like the O4, and some doesn't have because maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe the information was missing. But a few often has, and yeah, if you learn this, then obviously that would help. Um, but it does tell you from where to where it is. So, like Kø to Pomistran, Copenhagen. Uh, Copenhagen the capital of Denmark, uh, to Holbeck, Herstrup, Eibü, uh, yeah, so on Middelfar, Nyborg, Odense, Svendborg, Kolding, Flensborg, yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you saw these numbers, then if you saw these numbers and you remember all of this, then yeah, it, it, it's definitely possible to 5k. Um, <laughs> and we have a lot of here as well, so yeah, 
it, it, it would be helpful uh, if only we could see the actual stuff on, on, on the bollard itself. Um, so yeah, this is, an, uh, is just an example to show that it's SDM70, then you would go to this, or you would have memorized it, and you go to M70, you know you want the E45 from Aalborg till Aarhus. Um, double A in Danish is basically O, which is this letter, so double A is literally this letter, if you didn't know. Uh, North, Jus Nor North, mm. North Jyske Motorway, yep. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, so basically from this product, this product, this picture I've taken was taken somewhere between here and here on the E45. Isn't that just nice to know if you could actually see it uh, and pinpoint it? That would be cool. Right, moving on to buses, which is probably gonna be the most helpful I'm gonna show you in this video. Uh, buses, we have a different bus companies around Denmark. Uh, we, ha we have North Jutland, uh, we have Mid Jutland, we have South Jutland, or in Danish North Jutland, Mid Jutland, and Center Jutland. Then we have Fyn, it says it right there, even. Uh, then we have the island above Poland and to the east of like Sweden, kinda, which is called Bernhalm. And then we have uh, Sealand and, and, and some other islands down there. Um, so yeah, buses. Um, the first bus, Movia. Movia you can only find in uh, this part of them right here, Sealand, which is where Copenhagen is, so yeah. And then these uh, islands underneath them, which I forgot what it's called, but you can see it kind of there, it says Movia, right there. But it will say Movia in front of the bus, so if you do see a bus in a city, or like a big city, you're probably in Copenhagen. Mm. Uh, uh, but if, if you see a bus on some of these islands, you know you are, and it says Movia, you know you're gonna be there. Then we have Fyn Bus, again, literally in the name Fyn, um, it's gonna be that mid-island. Uh, between uh, the peninsula bordering Germany and, and the island uh, 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 with the capital on it. So, uh, they are green, uh, so right now, so well, but they do have this big text on it that says it. So, if you miss it, I don't know how, but yeah, <laughs> that should help you. Um, then we have Susrafik uh, South, oops, it is uh, Susrafik, which is like South. Traffic, yep. We uh, curve die. We 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 drive for you. Um, is their slogan? Um, but yeah, that is with the bottom part of Germany. Germany is down here, uh, and yeah, this is the region and uh, yellow buses again. Uh, but you can kind of see the logo here, and you can see the t the text. So um, yeah, pretty helpful. Uh, again, another helpful one. Uh, mid traffic, uh, middle. Uh, mid, mid, meaning middle, and traffic meaning traffic, meaning traffic. Um, so yeah, this is the middle part of Denmark, uh, no, of the peninsula. Uh, again, you can see it here on the front of the bus. Again, with the NT uh, North Zealand's uh, traffic telescope. North, uh, no, no, North Zealand's uh, North. Julian's um, traffic company. I think that's the correct translation from that. Uh, but it has a big NT on it, so yeah. Uh, a way to remember is just like N for north, uh, M for middle, and S for south. Isn't that nicely done by Denmark? Uh, makes it easy. Um, right, then we have bad. Batman, I'm Batman. Um, no, um, EG Rodemensers is not in the route, is not driving right now. Uh, but yeah, Bat, but how AMT, I don't know what the AMT stands for. Um, it was Arsman, uh, a create a uh, Twitch streamer and, and TikTok creator who uh, found all this with the buses. So I do have to give credit to him and thank you for helping. Uh, but yeah. This uh, this blue bus, uh, fully blue, is found on Bernheim. So if you think you are there, you will be there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that 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 
that was simply it for the for 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 that. Okay. S the quick tip for this video, uh, it will be a video out within maybe maybe next week or the week after that with another Danish tip video with some some street signs and, and, and another bollard and another bollard you might have not seen before. Maybe not. Maybe you have. I don't know. Um, hopefully, well, the bollard you can use if you. Well, it's good to know if you travel into Denmark, you you can call someone and say that number and you will be found. Um, oh, I don't think it's really helpful. Uh, I really tried to think of uh, when I found out about you can use it for for pinpointing. I was like, that sounds cool, but um, yeah, uh, it's really hard to see the numbers uh, 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 on the screen. So yeah, I don't know. Um, but hopefully the buses help, the buses should be a really helpful thing, um, when I've played Denmark, uh, the buses definitely help, so again, thank you Osman for finding that, and, uh, helping out, um, so yeah, that, that is it for the video, again, uh, trying to reach 400 before, uh, 400 subs before the end of the year, so, uh, if you are in the Christmas spirit, uh, I mean, I don't know, it's free, <laughs> uh, right, I mean that's yeah. Uh, I'm so bad at intros these days, am, and I uh, I don't know. Uh, well, have a lovely day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.